Something bad happened yesterday, and it was my fault. Good morning, Jolene. Good morning, friends. Shannon here with Old Oaks Farm. You guys that have been following us know that I have um, combined my chicken flock into one small chicken tractor and um, I was a little worried about them picking on each other uh, but since I've combined them I've not been getting very many eggs uh, I was up to about eight or nine eggs a day and now I, I've only been getting three or four eggs a day so a couple things that, that could be they could be just not laying because of the stress of being combined together uh, or I've been letting them out to free range a lot and they could just be laying eggs you know over in the in the weeds so uh, I've kept them purposefully all morning in the chicken tractor and I want to see how many eggs I've gotten this morning. I want to see how they got along. So we're going to let them out. We're going to look at them. We're just going to check them over and see uh, how they're doing this morning and uh, check and see how many eggs we have today. So the chickens look pretty good. Nobody looks uh, pecked or bothered or anything like that. I got three eggs, which is not unusual. A lot of them are laying in the, I have been laying in the afternoon, but I, when I combined the flock, like I said, I went from getting uh, at least seven eggs a day down to getting about three. So either they've quit laying for some reason or they're laying out somewhere off hiding them from me. Maybe I'll get uh, some more eggs this afternoon or this evening when I check. chickens in all day and I just got home and uh, I want to see if they've laid some eggs but I'm, I'm about to let them out they they've been uh, I've only been getting three or four eggs a day and I should be getting like eight or nine eggs a day at this point so um, I thought maybe they were laying out in the bushes so I haven't let them free range today uh, they're not very happy they're ready to get out of the pen I'm a little worried about letting them out in the storm but uh, they can get back in if they want to or go uh, underneath something so they've got places to shelter let's see how many eggs uh, we've got today oh yeah six six eggs so that means somebody has probably been laying eggs out in the weeds somewhere so
something bad happened yesterday and it was my fault. Uh, it could have been worse, a lot worse than it was. So my usual routine in the evenings is I come down to Ma's house where I have the chickens and, and, and Chief, and a Chief's in his own pen. Um, and I, I feed the, ch I move the chickens, they're, they're a tractor. I feed them, I give them fresh water. Uh, and then I, I uh, let Chief out and, and let him in the house to, so I can pet him and, and Ma likes to spend time with him. Uh, and while I wait for the chickens to go to bed, that they go to, at dark, they go back in their chicken tractor on their own and they go to bed. Um, well, last night I had fed the chickens and they were on their way, uh, sort of getting ready to go to bed. Um, and I came into this little side yard that is gated off uh, and to, to go let Chief out. And I closed this gate. I closed that. And I walked down to Chief's pen right down there to let him out. So um, I let him out and then I went into his pen to get his food bowl to, to put some food in it before I knew what was going on. Uh, and un unbeknownst to me, Bernadette had followed me, the hen had followed me into this side yard. So when I let Chief out, he does what hunting dogs do. He went, he went and got her. He had her in his mouth and he was carrying her, I don't know, one, he was gonna carry her off somewhere and probably uh, probably try to kill her and eat her, but I think she hurt herself trying to get away from him more than she was running up against the fence. She couldn't find out how to get through the little hole where she had come in. She was bleeding and she had a lot of feathers torn out, her tail feathers mostly, uh, but I think she's gonna be okay. She's up this morning, I isolated her so that because she was bleeding and chickens, if they smell blood on another chicken, they will go at them. So I isolated her last night, um, put her in her own, in, in her own tractor and um, give her some food and water. She seems to be doing okay. It was pretty cool last night. It got down close to 40 degrees, uh, but uh, she seems to be doing okay and the other chickens are okay. I think she's gonna live. She lost several feathers. She's bleeding a little bit around the, her ear area but she seems good this morning, so that's good. So we're gonna let them out and uh, see, how they're, see how they're doing. 